Hey cousin, welcome back to Better Now with Erica. Today we are going to be doing a printer review, my infamous printer. I think I'm gonna call her Sheila. Um, so uh, today I'm bringing you not only a printer review, but a collaboration. I am collaborating with Leah from Boss Up with Leah. She has a channel that is primarily geared toward notary loan signing information and every now and then she um, gives other um, pieces of helpful information for other businesses as well. Um, Leah has been a notary for I believe about eight years and then she transitioned into signing agent. Um, she has a wealth of knowledge um, definitely a channel that you should watch and as it pertains to her printer first of all she says she loves her printer and secondly it is a single tray brother so go check out boss up with leah after you watch this of course all right so today we're going to talk about sheila here my little epson um sheila is and for those of you that don't understand why am I calling this poor printer Sheila, um, we had a little situation, our very first print job, and she decided that she was just going to go ham on me. So um, I said I had to name her so I could bring her under subjection. But anyways, so this is my Epson. My Epson is a WF4740. That is, WF stands for Workforce. So it's a Workforce Pro printer. This screen right here is three point, I'm sorry, 4.3 inches, the touch screen. It does flip out or up, which is really helpful because for the first tray, when you want to print, you can flip this out to, there we go, to catch the pages. So that's the reason she was actually spitting things out at me. So it wasn't her fault, it was my fault. Um, as you can see, I actually do have two trays. Um, the capacity is 500 pages. Um, the auto feeder up here. Oh, let me tell you. So it's an all in one. It's a printer, scanner, copier, and a fax. I do not utilize the fax, um, spec of it, um, but it can do so. So up here, I have a tray. Um, I have, it is an inkjet printer. I think that's pretty important for you to know it is wireless and the printing speeds are 24 pages per minute for black and 22 pages per minute for color it is compatible with both a smartphone and a tablet and then I went ahead and did some measurements for us so from here to here is 17 inches across and then from here to here is 13.5 inches tall. And then going back or the depth is 14 inches long. So I figured that would be helpful to know so you could know um, how much space she actually takes up. I actually keep her on the floor um, under my desk because as you can see, it's kind of compact up here and I do a lot of writing during my day. So having her out the way is what works best for me. One, um, oh, I'm sure you want to know pricing, right? So this printer cost me $299.99 plus tax. I did get the printer from Office Depot. Um, when I purchased the printer, I also purchased a $50 two-year warranty, um, well, $49.99. And I also print, um, ordered, what is this called? I also purchased extra ink. Now, this box came with the high capacity black and then the regular other colors. I have only printed out one loan signing package. And after my first half of the package, so what I mean by that is I printed like the signing copies and not quite the um, copies for the signer to keep and the first ink cartridge went out. Now, I had done just a little bit of printing prior to that, so it seems like I get about 200 pages um, per ink cartridge, 
And let me see, I am looking to see if it gives us any numbers of pages on here and I do not see that. Let me just quickly double check. No, I don't see where it says like how many pages you would get per um, cartridge. But like I said, my new cartridge is the high capacity black. Um, and this was $132.99. So, not the cheapest, um, and I do believe I've seen ink on, um, like, eBay and places like that for a little bit less expensive. I'll definitely be researching. I'm, actually, I need to go ahead and get some more black because I always want to keep a backup um, of the black just in case. Like, I never want to be on the last one like I currently am, but I felt pretty secure because it is high capacity. Um... So when it comes so those, everything that I've mentioned are pros. One thing that I did not know how to do when I first started out was to make the, the second tray um, take the legal. So I literally rigged it up. But now I do know that if you, let me show you. Okay, you might be able to see, but... Um, you can push a button under here, under the paper that unlocks the tray and pushes it back in. Ow, paper cut, y'all. Oh, that hurt. Um, you do that and it pushes it back in and then it's, they're both letter size or like I previously had it, you push that, you pull it, it locks and then it is your legal size. There we go. So those, those are my pros. I'm really happy with my printer. Um, I don't have too much to say about it. One thing, I thought that if I kept it powered on, that when I need to print, I could just print. That is not the case. I usually have to come back and turn it off, turn it on, and then it's like it picks up the information that I'm trying to send to it. Um, on occasion, it doesn't automatically pick up or my, let me see, how can I say that? It, I don't know what it does actually. Um, it just has like a little bit of a delay when it comes to printing from say my phone or my laptop. So I usually have to give, I'm, I can't just come in here, you know, in a rush I have to come in and, you know, be patient with it, turn it on, let her warm up a minute, and then go into printing. So, you know, is it ever like super urgent where you need your printing to be like 30 seconds or less? Probably not. So I doubt that that really makes a big difference, but that is something that I was, you know, a little bit taken back by like, oh, I can't just print. Um, but um, to the printer's defense, I'm used to corporate printing where you print from your desk. By the time you walk to it, it's already printed out. This is actually um, my first home printer in quite a while. So I, uh, I would like to give my WF4740 a good review, I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10. She's a good 8.5. Um, she does what I need her to do. And I have not had any types of breakdowns or anything like that. Now, I did purchase this printer in February. And we are only in April at this time. And I really have only had um, two big print jobs. The capacity up here is 50 pages. And I mentioned before, this is the scan bed capacity. I mentioned before that my scans were getting, were stopping. And I think that may have been what it was. Uh, there may have been more than 50 pages. So I'm gonna be careful to see if that's an issue or if that resolves the issue. And if so, um, if that doesn't resolve the issue, then I'll come back and I'll update you on what the printer is doing. I hope this was helpful and don't forget to go check out Leah with Boss Up Leah to see about her brother single tray. All right, y'all. Bye.